part two of converting the Titan truck into bear camp. We're going to remove the good old C clamps here that we got at Harbor Freight for, I don't know, three or four bucks a piece. Cheap, and they worked. But we got some uh, actual clamps that are made for truck caps and uh, provided to us by our good friend Lester who had long ago sold his truck apparently that had a cap or that he was going to put a cap on. I'm not sure. Anyways, he had them sitting around and asked me if I needed them. I said, yes, sir. I sure enough do. All right. I'm gonna put three down each side. Does that sound like the right number to you, Dave? Three down each side? And we're gonna see if we can keep this topper from flopping. Keep the topper from flopping. This don't build any character whatsoever. That's why it's wonderful. The camera woman is laughing at me. <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> What's Timmy doing? Oh, he's helping me hold the camera just proper. Oh. I don't know what kind of tension you're supposed to put on these things, but that seems like a lot. I guess maybe I should look that up. Okay. I think that one's good. The real cameraman's giving mom pointers. Uh, that's dangerous right there, Tim. Hey, see if they'll fall down in that little hole right there, the bottom part, and then lead it. There we go. I think that's good there. I could have fallen on mom's head. <laughs> that would have been bad. Oh, we're not worried about yours. It's still <laughs> soft. It's not fully developed. <laughs> what a meanie. Whenever I told Lester that I, or whenever Lester watched the video and saw that I brought the camper top, the cap home with C clamps, he was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I got some old clamps. I'm going to give you them clamps. I think he was afraid or thought maybe I was going to lose my top going down the road. That would have been bad. I don't know, I guess you're just supposed to space these out evenly. I have no idea. I have never put a camper top on or a cap on a truck before in my life. Huh? So after Brother Lester watches this, he may uh, give you a few pointers. <laughs> Telling you what, you see what I gotta, what I gotta deal with, folks. Man, what your shirt say? Easily distracted by watches. Yes. Says, I don't even have a watch on right now. The fabric band on my watch was getting irritating this afternoon. It was all sweaty. In the summer, I think a rubber band. A rubber band. <laughs> a rubber band would work better. But you need the wrench. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave, can you stand up in here without stooping? Stand up straight. Oh, yeah. Plenty of clearance. 
ropes, this top, <laughs> this cap. This cap was way. sitting in a field for two years, and it was up on bricks, but the grass and the dirt from over time got up on here, and there's all kind of grass and stuff woven into the carpeting. Can I see that wrench? Nah, Davey stole it. Hey, I got an idea. We open these up and let some air through. Yeah, sure. Instead of sweltering in here. Oh, I can get this open. Got another one? Oh, there Burn me. Come on, girl. You're tightening it. <laughs> like, why ain't this thing coming loose? <laughs> you tightened it. You can't even get it loose. <laughs> okay. I think I can turn it by hand now. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> What are you doing, Dev? Can I have that wrench? <laughs> You're fired! You are fired! Tickling the host's feet while videotaping. <sighs> I never do it. It was gonna be so rough having your wife on the camera. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, man! <laughs> Think that's funny, do you? All right, I'll hold it. You tighten it. It's not like the other thing. Come on, Ruta, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, use that muscles. <laughs> Crank it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let me see how tight you got her. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Look, Dad. I think that'll work. Dad, look. Raise the roof, folks. This camper top ain't going nowhere. Dad. Except the bear camp. Except okay. We have officially replaced the C-clamps with actual... Karen, we don't want the C-clamps back on. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> That's why we put these on. You hear me? Uh -huh. Okay, hand me that chair. I want to see if this... There you go, you got it? Get that out. I want to see if this, if I can sit in this chair inside this cap on here. Watch out, Ruth. Your chair. Oh yeah, here I can sit in my camp chair in here. If I uh. <laughs> If I get back from hunting all day, sometimes you want to sit. If it's raining or snowing or something, you can get up in here and relax a little bit before I go to bed. Tickling my feet. What is your deal, Bart? Yeah. All right. This will be the next project, probably. Got to get new cylinders, struts, and I got to... Uh, this goes here. Came loose from the... The rivets broke. 
on both sides. So, I gotta get those replaced, hopefully. What do you think, Karen? Tim? Ruta? Hi, Mama! Super! Super! Hi, Mama. <laughs> so, as far as a cot goes, the problem that I'm seeing right off the bat with a cot, if I want to have like a cot on one side and some amenities over here, some camping amenities, most cots have three legs, one uh, on each end and one in the middle. I did find one company uh, that's actually made in the USA. It's called Camp Time, Roll O Cot. Uh, they make a cot that is just two legs that would straddle that hump for the wheels. So I don't really want to buy a new one because they're kind of expensive. But if I can find one used on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or something, I would definitely buy it. Ah, now we're going to see how the camera woman's doing here. The one that was tickling my feet <laughs> as I was. What do you think of the Rolo cot, baby? Is that a good option? Should I pursue that? Okay. Yeah? What do you think of the old truckster so far? Good. What are you doing, Deb? Hey, that looks like just the right size. Let me see that. Hold this a second, Tim. That looks like it might be just the right size. It even fits right down in that little hole right there. <laughs> Check that out. I'm telling you what, we may not even need to get them struts. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, that's rock solid. That is rock solid. <laughs> Fits right down in this little pocket here. Now, if you do knock it out while you're getting in and out, it might cause a severe headache, but yeah, I think that's where that belongs. <laughs>